but I mean, there's only so many times and only so many years a person can deal with this before they're done. And so I am banning. on my channel um, and we have a box opening so a couple of things going on today and so today is Sunday I hope you're getting to see this on a Sunday and um, so I haven't started my week you know updates yet we're still ending the week so we're just gonna jump right into the rant and what I'm doing so the other day um, you guys grab some popcorn grab a drink it could be a minute because Rebecca usually don't do this but the other day we went shopping together looking for giveaway babies, right? You guys remember that video? And in the video, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm anxiety ridden to this morning. <laughs> in the video, I ordered your guys' giveaway babies and then I also ordered me a baby. Okay, well the baby that I ordered for me, not your guys' giveaway babies, so far they are still in transit and everything is good because they're coming from Timu. Let me backtrack, Bloop. rewind. Me and Nanny's been living in this trailer for maybe about four years now. And um, when I first moved in to this trailer, I tried to order something as simple as a shower curtain. Well, Amazon wouldn't deliver it here. And I was like, okay. So I go to the post office, I pick up, it was like a shower curtain rod or something. I pick it up, I tell them, yes, it is, it, it is a house. Um, we do have a field on the other side of us. You guys have seen my past videos. But we do live in a house. Okay. So they're like, okay, we'll mark that. So I'm like, cool. I got it fixed with Amazon. Because I actually loved ordering from Amazon. This is why you guys don't see any Amazon babies that I order. Anyway. So then, um, you know, time went by. And I tried to order something else. I can't remember what that was. Well, it, it kept showing delivered, but it wouldn't be here. And so I'm like, what is going on? And so, you know, I'm just like, okay, I can't remember why. I think they gave me a refund or something for it. Well, then time went by and I was looking for a particular movie. It was called Sleepy Hollow and um, it's a TV series. And um, I ordered that on DVD. I had ordered something else in the meantime. And anyway, I um, it showed it delivered. And I could, I, I, Anyway, a long story short to get to this part of the story. Somehow, I can't remember how, I figured out that the Amazon Prime delivery, so I'm not talking about Amazon itself as a company, okay? I want to make that clear. Um, I'm not bashing Amazon as a company. I love Amazon. This is the Amazon Prime delivery I'm talking about. Somehow, I figured out that they would deliver it to, across the street, two houses down. Um, my number is 5013. The neighbor that keeps getting delivered to is 5010. So I figured out that they would deliver it. Well, I'd go over there and try to get my package. Well, it would be gone and nobody would answer their door. Okay. So that situation, I tried to order the Sleepy Hollow. Three times I tried to order this DVD. First time, it got delivered over there. Went not nothing. Second time... I talked to Amazon. They're like, okay, we're going to resend it out to you. I'm like, okay, I put so much description into the delivery about our ramp, about the color of the car, about the color of the mail. Because their mailbox is a rock mailbox. Our mailbox is a black mailbox. One of your old, simple, black mailboxes. How can you get those two mixed up? Anyway, so much description that there should be no way they did not know. I think they're related. Anyway. Lo and behold, they got, I was driving, so I was in traffic, when I get the message that it was delivered, had nanny check, and of course, it's nowhere to be found, by the time I get all the way home from driving in the car, run over there to see if it's on their porch, it's gone, and of course, they don't answer their door, so I get hold of Amazon, I'm like, no, 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 just, I want a refund, and so it was from that time on that I banned Amazon, since then, um, I have had 
a couple of people send me Amazon and my Dolly Angel and then I had another different Dolly Angel that thank goodness hers came USPS um, it was going to be delivered, Delivery Prime, but I managed to talk to her and say, please, 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 can we fix it? Somehow let's work differently. Even if you got to cancel that order, please. I will not get it. I will not get it. Anyway, somehow she fixed it to where the post office would deliver it, which means I would get it. If it comes with Amazon Prime, I don't get it, you guys. I really honestly don't. So anyway, um, another package came from my Dolly Angel. And thank goodness my Dolly Angel has had sent enough stuff to me to recognize my porch. She sends me a picture and she says, and I believe the baby that was sent to me was Gabriel. Okay, I was either Gabriel or Henry. Okay, and she sends me a picture. She says, this isn't your porch. And they're saying it got delivered. <sighs> really? So I, thank goodness, was off that day and was here because I dashed out of my house, ran over there to the neighbors and managed to get it from underneath their porch. It was mine. I showed them the ring camera. Hey, this is my package. And I left. I don't order from Amazon. So anyway, we go that day and I'm ordering the giveaway babies, right? And I ordered me a baby. A cheap little baby doll. I think this doll might have costed $30. That's how cheap it is. It's just one of a little cheap baby doll. And it says it's coming from a local Timu warehouse. I'm like, okay, cool. We'll try it. We'll try it. Nanny's um, baby that she has coming to me is coming from a local team warehouse. I get a notification that the local team warehouse that it's coming from is Amazon. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to have a cow. So, and it's showing that it was supposed to be delivered today. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is Amazon Prime. And at that point, there was nothing I could do but just keep my fingers crossed that they would do right. They finally, I mean, this is four years, you guys, of this. Four years, four long years of this with Amazon Prime. Is it the same delivery driver for four years? I mean, I, I just, I, anyway. <laughs> so that was yesterday. I get the email. I'm like, okay, okay, well, I don't have to babysit till like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I will be here. I will try to hang outside and watch for the Amazon Prime because if I ever catch that van going over there, I thought I'm going to go over there and confront that person and tell them, hey, you have been delivering my stuff to these thieves because they don't ever tell you nothing. These people won't tell you nothing. These people are the ones that broke beer bottles in Pudgy Papa's yard and my granddaughter lives over there on one of the holidays. Okay, so these people are not necessarily... I don't like to bad talk people, but they're not neighbors I associate with. Anyway, um, I thought, well, I'll do it. In my computer this morning, check my emails, because my emails are with my computer, you guys, for the Cloud Kid. Um, check my emails, and guess what? It's showing it got delivered yesterday. I'm like, oh, no. I mean, yeah, I can get a refund, but really? I'm going to go off on Timu. I'm going to go off on Timu. And um, I, 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 I um, did message Timu, by the way, and let them know about this. Because if I would have known that the local warehouse was Amazon, I would not have ordered the doll. So anyway, this morning I get the email. And this is like, I first woke up. I hadn't even had coffee yet. I'm checking my emails, wait for the coffee to make. <laughs> and that happens. So I run over there. And it's on their porch still. And I get it. And... Me and the neighbor lady exchanged words. Um, it, I didn't cuss. She didn't cuss. You know, but it, it's the simple thing of it happens all the time and they never want to tell anybody. Um, if I get mail from my neighbors, I would simply walk it across. It'd take me a minute to go to her house to check on my package. It would have took her a minute to bring it over here and say, hey, sorry. It got delivered to my house by accident. That's what a honest person would do right you guys comment below an honest person would have walked it over because i'm a neighbor and said hey i got your package because that's what i would have done i don't want to be a thief and i don't want to steal somebody's mail i don't need it you know all i could say in the past with them is they must have needed the movie more than me because they got it that's how sometimes you got to look at things when it gets taken from you that's how i always look at something if i lose something or somebody takes something from me because we've had things happen in the past I always just tell myself, you know, that person must have really needed it more than you. So just let it go. So in the past, I let it go. So. 
I got my package. I, you know, and long story short, that is my rant. And so, the package is here, and we're going to open it, and we are going to see what the baby looks like, you guys. So that is the end of that. I will not order from Amazon. Um, not because of Amazon, like I said, the company itself, love it. But for whatever reason, Amazon will always deliver with their delivery. And their delivery driver is either A, a family member in cahoots with them, and that's why I never for four years have gotten a package and they get all my packages. Or B, I, I, if you go GPS my address, it shows where I'm at. So I don't understand. I really don't. Anyway, that's why I don't, um, that's why Amazon is banned. For me, I can't because there's times I'm not here and they end up with it. And um, for any of you that sends me happy mail, you know, I feel bad because you may have to like get your refund, which is, you'll get a refund. It's not that much of an issue, but it's, you know, it's just the trouble of going through, ordering, sending, and then having to do all that. And then somebody else be enjoying that when you meant, you know, it's a whole to do you guys. So anyway, let's get on to the box opening and enough of the drama the drama is over so this is my Penelope this is not what I ordered and the reason I'm showing Miss Penelope here is because I always said you guys I wanted to order a boy Levi I always said Penelope could probably pass as a boy but I keep her as a girl because that's what I ordered her as but I found a boy a Levi and I wanted to order him because he's from a a different company um, it's Kazak or something. I will, um, well, I don't know. I'm still upset, you guys. Anyway, I will, um, try to post the name of the company here in, um, in a, in, on my screen. Um, but anyway, um, I, uh, it was a different style doll, in other words. And that's why I ordered him. And, um, he is, like I said, a Levi. So he is going to be a twin to Penelope, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, you guys, let me set Penelope over because once I get him out of the box, we are going to dive down close and compare both of them because Penelope was gotten from Etsy. She's weighted. She's not an artist render doll. I feel like she's one that you can probably order a kit and put together yourself. Um, and so that's about all she is. If I would have known that, I would have did it myself and did it a lot cheaper than what I paid for her. But I love Penelope and it doesn't matter to me. Um, so that's the difference. He is a $30 doll from this company that's supposed to be like realistic looking dolls. Sorry, I gotta do that every time. I just looked it. So he is supposed to just be a realistic looking doll and he is just a $30 cheap doll. And so we're going to look at them and see the difference. And he feels loose. Loosey goosey goosey in here. And I did compare the address. The address on this box is my address. There's no need that they should be taking this to 1510. I just don't understand it. Got the scissors out. Okay, he isn't loose. Okay, I have opened a doll from this company before. Yes, I have. Um, and the reason I know this is I'm recognizing the box. Okay, so I recognize the box. You guys, I have opened a baby from this company before. This is not a new company. And the reason I know this is Faith is from the same company. And I'm actually excited now because I was thinking, oh, I forgot to say, off to the side, Amazon box. <laughs> Still trying to make it fun for you guys. I hate doing rants on my channel. Oh my goodness. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Anyway, Faith came in a box like this. And I love Faith. Faith is actually very well made, you guys. So I'm actually impressed that this is where it's coming from. So here is the outside of his box. And I am going to lean forward. And Andy's right here. I don't think you guys can see him. But I'm going to lean forward and make sure I'm still recording um, you guys. And then we'll get right back into getting him out. I know. You guys just see my chest right now? It's okay. It's okay. I'm going back, you guys. Okay. All right. I'm back out of you guys' face. Okay. All right. 
I didn't want to mess this up. Okay, Faith came in a box like this. So I am excited. Faith is actually very well made. She's very well painted for a replica. Faith is actually a very nice doll. She's one of the ones I want to wait. Okay, so let's go ahead and open. Anyway, this is one of three of the babies. But this isn't the giveaway baby. I'm keeping this one. But your guys' babies is still in route. I have checked. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. I do have to say, look what you see when you first open the box. <laughs> that is what you see. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh. Well, hello, little darling. <laughs> here we go. Another. Oh. What you guys heard <laughs> is my drum set. Not mine, my Cloud Kids. <laughs> Their toy drum set. You guys just heard it. Oh my goodness. He does look adorable, you guys. Let's see what he comes with. Okay. He comes with a little bottle. And the little bottle has just like some little circles on it. I'm not gonna. This is one of those nice ones, you guys. I think Faith came with a nice one too. We're gonna do a name reveal too. It is. It's one of those nice ones. Yes, Trixie, do you think I got treats? Mommy don't have treats, Trixie. Mommy don't have treats. Paper crinkling is a treat. And then he does have a passy that we will try out. And he's got one of these paper thin diapers, which I love those paper thin diapers. And he's got your little Heaven's Baby. Yes, same company as Faith. I am excited. There is promise. There is promise. I just wanted to see. And oh, oh, oh my goodness. You guys, he does. He's so cute. <laughs> look at his little face oh I don't know how I'm gonna get him too close oh look you guys oh he's adorable he oh, what? does he not look like a boy he definitely looks like a boy now you guys know what I mean by Adopted. They're adopted twins. How's that? They are adopted. The, he is a brother from another mother. How's that? He is a brother from another mother. This one. And that is okay with us. Right, little guy. All right, you guys. I think it's time. Oh, my God. I kind of don't want to change him. He's so stinking cute in his little outfit, you guys. Oh, my goodness. But we are. We are going to go ahead and change him. Um, because I am also going to change Penelope. I've got their outfits. And he's actually going to cha get changed into an outfit that Mama Mama Cheryl sent in the Happy Mail box yesterday. So let's go ahead and dive down close. I'm going to take all this off his arms. And we're going to compare both babies. Hi. Oh, he's so cute. All of my frustration just melted away looking at his little face. Right, you guys, here we are back. Um, and here they are compared side by side. You've got my sleeping little guy, and then you got the Penelope awake. So let's go ahead and um, which one should I do first? Which one should I do first? Let's go ahead and look at Penelope first. I know that I know that you guys have already seen her, but let's just go ahead and quickly get her changed. And I am just going to change her into this pretty little dress that Nanny made. You guys, Nanny actually crocheted this little dress. And um, just some little bottoms to go with it over her diaper. I don't think she needs a fresh diaper, so I'm going to set that to the side. And just a pretty little bow. And so that way we can kind of take a look at Penelope. And there's my scissors, you guys. I was looking for those when I was taking the plastic off of off of my little guy over here 
All right, because I want to do a name reveal of him, so I'll do him second. So anyway, I can tell you um, already. Uh, sorry, Penelope. Okay, um, of course he isn't weighted. You guys, that is the first and foremost thing about the little guys. He's not weighted, so um, that is the difference. And she does have a little bit more blushing, and she does have. Um, more coloring as far as her blushing, her creasing, and stuff like that goes. So, and like I said, I did get her from Etsy. And she is, I, I love Penelope. The Levi, these are probably way too big for this little baby girl. Um, the Levi sculpt, to me, you guys, is my second favorite um, sculpt out of... <laughs> They go all the way up to her chin, you guys. They go all the way up to her chin. But yes, here is Penelope's face for anybody that maybe hasn't seen her that much. Okay, I'm, I'm laying her down. And I'm right here behind the camera, you guys. I'm sorry if I accidentally bump it sometimes. I am trying to do this for you guys. If you, you guys ought to know me. I'm not too good with the um, chat and changing up close. Um, I try. But usually I'm just changing them on my lap, you guys. But I figured today you guys would want to see the babies a little bit more. And so, put that little dress on her. And then we're going to trip Penelope over. Oh, my goodness. And turn her little head like that. Sorry, you guys are seeing her bottom. And then we are going to just tie up her little back of her dress. Yeah, Nanny crocheted this, you guys, with no pattern. Um, so I like to dress my babies in clothes that she crochets, um, just because it feels, I feel closer to my mother, you know, I feel closer to nanny that way and my babies do too. Okay. And there she is. And then I'm going to put this cute little bow in her hair. Okay. I've got to get her kind of close. So let me see if you guys can still see her sweet little face. At least there we go. You guys can just see her sweet little face as I do this. She's like, really, Mom? Really, Mom? Really, Mom? You're flipping my head upside down. I'm sorry, sweet girl. Our subscribers want to see you, too. Not just Mommy. Not just Mommy. We're going to try this, you guys. I don't know. Well, my goodness. Okay, you guys, I got to bring her up close. <laughs> You guys, my Penelope looks like a hippie flower child. <laughs> with our little bow. We're just going to go with it. Because the Cloud Kids like to be as different and unique as me. And, well, we are being unique, aren't we, Penelope? Yes, Mommy can't get the bow to work right. <laughs> there she is. With her bow, you guys. In her pretty little outfit. In her little bare feet. Her little bare feet. She says, I'm a cloud kid. We go barefoot most of the time. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get on to our next sleeping Levi. She says, my new brother. I'm so happy. I'm a twin. Here, it's him, little face. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to keep the shadows. I'm sorry. I am kind of in a little bit of shadows. And his little outfit that came on him. And... He does have a little blushing, um, not much. Look at his little toes. He says, I'm a cloud kid now, yay! And little open hands. He's got the tip nails. And really, you guys, like I said, he, I think, might have costed like 30 something dollars. He was, out of all the three dolls I ordered, I made sure that mine was just a cheap little doll. Um, and I wanted to make sure you guys had, of course, the better dolls. But I am actually um, impressed. And there's his little hat. That is too cute. That is, is um, too stinking cute. I almost don't want to change him, but I do. Because um, I want to get a diaper on him. And, well, yeah, that, we're going to see what he looks like. Um, without, he does, you guys, he does. And I want to say Faith is the same way um, with these. Is there a button around the neck? No. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, little one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Cute, 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 cute outfit. Cute, 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 cute. 
cute. Okay, here he is. Let's get a diaper on him real quick, you guys. Here we are a back. With, I don't know why I keep thinking the camera is like not doing good, so I just keep on turning you guys around when I could have just left it like I did with Penelope, but that's okay. Here he is, and I don't really see um, a whole lot of blushing, or of course I'm not seeing any veining um, or anything on him, but you know, for... Um, and yeah, you guys hear socks because this is what she does to me. But you guys, for the 30 something dollar mark, I mean, I'm actually not upset. This would be a cute little doll, like if you had like a birthday present. And I'm going to put him in. Like I said, Mama Cheryl sent a happy mail yesterday and had a bunch of boy clothes. And I was going to change Michael, but he came today, so he's going to get to get changed in the first outfit from Mama Cheryl. And so, anyway, you guys, um, I think that he would be cute, you know, for, like, just somebody. And he is going to be right along with Faith, and um, he will be on the list to be modified um, whenever I go to modifying some dolls. You know, it's been a while since I have, you guys. I need to get the supplies up um, for it, but he will be part with Faith. Um, because I really didn't know that they came from the same company. And see, you guys, that's what upsets me a little bit. Because I actually love Faith. And he, so far, um, for his price, um, I'm pretty impressed with him. And he is a little Levi. Replica. Replica. Let me state that, you guys. Replica. We know we're not going to pay a real $30 for a real Levi. So, anyway, I'm really impressed with this um, particular doll company because their dolls are not that bad you guys of course if you got one in you know like he gets a doggy on his bottom um you know for the price and everything i am telling you um i really like this company so it makes me really sad because i haven't seen these dolls anywhere else now maybe they are oh he's a little guy Ham's a little guy. Yes, him is. Oh, my goodness. Um, what I do... Oh, there's his binky. We're going to try out his binky in a second. Okay. Anyway, um, I haven't really seen them anywhere else, is what I guess my gist of that was. And they're only on Amazon. And, well, we know now that, uh, of course, I'm going back to the no order. If I could order Amazon and it get delivered a different way, then I surely would... Oh, Look, look at him bottom, look at him bottom, oh, um, then I definitely would, I would order from Amazon, I actually love Amazon babies, alright, let's try out him little hat, let's try out him little hat, oh goodness, oh my goodness, look at him, oh, he says hello world, I'm not shy, Mwah. He says, I love the camera. He says, I'm going to be a ham in front of the camera. Yes, mommy's already determined that about me. Yes. Him's always sleeping. Him's obviously a napper. Him love him naps. But he, oh, well, you guys can't even see him. There we go. But him is definitely going to be a ham in front of the camera. Let's try it out. And there we go. Isn't he... Uh, adorable. Okay, you guys, let's go back up top and do a name reveal. Yes, he says, yes, reveal my name, Mom. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back with the two Levi's. And so we already know Penelope. And so I'm going to go ahead and set Penelope over here. Because the star of this video is this little guy. Okay. Are you guys ready to learn his name? All right. You ready? He says, I am definitely ready, Mom. I'm not camera shy at all. <laughs> his name is Cyrus. That's right, you guys. I had a subscriber recommend Cyrus. Um, I have another name that a subscriber recommended that is going to be used, but it's going to be used on Nanny's Baby. Anyway, his name is Cyrus. He's posable. For a $30 doll, he's pretty movable. I'm pretty impressed. All right, you guys. So, that is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much of a rant 
or too boring you know so if you like it give us that big thumbs up and well while you're down there why don't you go ahead and subscribe it's free it doesn't cost anything and while me and all of my cloud kids even my new cloud kids we really appreciate you so until the next video everybody bye